Only 17 months in office, but Peru's president, Pedro Pablo Kuczynski, could be about to be removed from office. On Thursday, he will defend himself in Congress against allegations of graft that he dealt with Brazilian construction giant Odebrecht while he held high government posts. But in a televised message on Wednesday, Kuczynski said he has always been transparent and hasn't done anything improper. I recognize I made mistakes. I want to ask for your forgiveness. With my mind clear and pain in my heart for not being careful with my information about my activities. I am deeply sorry, but this has never been a tool for dishonesty and criminal activities. Kuczynski doesn't deny his company received payments. Odebrecht says it paid nearly $4 million to Kuczynski's businesses, though he says they were managed by associates. We base the impeachment on the fact that when he was finance minister, his company received money from the corrupt Odebrecht company and for lying to the country about it. Experts say legislators are imposing a fast-track impeachment. The Popular Force Party, led by Keiko Fujimori, who lost the presidential election by a tiny margin, has already forced out five government ministers, and now critics say it is after the president. The Congress has given him an ultimatum to resign or be removed. This violates his constitutional right to defend himself, the presumption of innocence and due process. It is a coup in the making. Kuczynski has asked the judiciary for a constitutional appeal to stop the impeachment and for the Organization of American States to send observers to watch how proceedings are conducted. Hours before the impeachment began, thousands of Peruvians marched in the center of Lima, saying they're disenchanted with the political class. Well, people here are not only furious at Kuczynski, but also at the political majority. They say they not only want to control Congress, but the country. Opinion polls say nearly all politicians in office have lost the people's support. We have to fight for a new constitution to restructure our country. All these corrupt officials need to go. President Kuczynski says he will defend his mandate, but even if he's able to hold on to the presidency, it will be very difficult to gain the trust of most Peruvians. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.